partnership of community colleges and high schools and other educational organizations, um, marine related industries, employers, government agencies, all working together to improve marine technology education within the U.S. So this year it's the 2004 third annual national competition and it's being held here at UC Santa Barbara. Um, being hosted at the UC Santa Barbara campus by the Marine Science Institute. We're out at the campus pool. We have 34 teams from across the U.S. and including our friendly neighbors to the north, Canada. Um, we've got two different competition classes. We've got the Explorer class, and that's really the advanced division. It really caters to the more technical schools, community colleges, and universities. It's a bit more challenging mission. Um, the second class is the Ranger class, and that's really, although the missions are equally as challenging, it, it really appeals more to high school students and beginning builders. Yeah, it's definitely fun hanging around with so much brain power. Seeing that there really are a lot of other kids that think in similar ways but can find completely different solutions. We pick up a lot of, you know, finding easy solutions to crazy problems. A lot of the challenges in the competition, we thought of so many crazy methods that just would never work. They take way too much touchiness. And so we got a lot better at finding really simple, reliable solutions to crazy problems. This year's competition is really, it's, it's been progressive, watching it from the first year and watching the teams grow. We've seen some of these teams come from the cutest little bots to more sophisticated and, and just, it's incredible watching, watching the teams grow over the years. We're following several, as you know, several of the teams and you kind of get excited every year too, can't wait to see you. You know, some of the some of the teams come to see what they've what they've learned over the years and what they've taken from last year to improve on this year. Well, everybody's really friendly and willing to help, and it you know it kind of you know we thought we were going to be kind of the anchor on everybody for parts and stuff, but it turns out we've been able to help some other people. So it's kind of it's kind of cool to see that we're not it's alone. Really, it's really unique environment, I think. Yeah. I mean, there aren't many other things like this competition that would that would be able to give this situation. Yeah. I, I really like just being, you know, there's not very, very many people in our town and not very many of them are technologically inclined, I guess you could say. And it's really cool just to come here and be surrounded by people that are interested. You can talk for hours about bilge pump motors and how they push water around. <laughs> Definitely, I've seen quite a quite a few um, of the teams, quite a few of the uh, students that I'm really looking forward to whenever they come into the field to come and engineer and fix some of our bugs that we have with our commercial vehicles. But I, I can definitely see several of them coming as our operators, our technicians, our engineers working and designing our equipment. As a matter of fact, this competition is just such an amazing opportunity for students and for their teachers. I've talked to so many teachers who had never even really heard of ROVs before last year and they come to a teacher workshop, they learn a little bit and then they go back to their classrooms and then they spend the entire year learning from and with their students and it's just so motivating. Not just for the students but also for the teachers and, and for the, the parents and all those sorts of things. It's just an incredible opportunity, an incredible experience. It helps us and it re-motivates us and reminds us of what we do and why we do what we do every day. 
and we just have a great time. I'm so excited. These teams that are around this pool are exactly why we do all the work that we do every day. And when you sit in front of your computer and you sit there and you're typing emails or you're reading papers or you're writing a talk, you forget. And so then you come back here and you see all these teams and you see their grins and you see their hard work in these bots and you, you know why you do it.